So for this first cleaning hack, I will be using a baby bottle brush. I will be using it to clean the inside of my water bottles. I find that it's really hard to get down deep into your water bottles unless you use a dishwasher. But I like to hand wash my water bottles and using this baby brush makes sure you get each and every corner of your bottle. I also use this technique on my kids water bottles. So for my second hack, I will be cleaning my baseboards. The first thing I am doing is just cleaning off my baseboards with a cleaner to make sure all the dust and dirt is completely taken off. I will be using some dryer sheets. I chose to use Bounce. You can use any dryer sheets of your choice. Now you're just going to need to rub the dryer sheets all over your baseboards. By doing this, it helps the dirt and dust not cling onto your baseboards or stick to your baseboards as much as they would normally. I also will be using the same exact techniques for all of my TVs. First, I will dust and wipe down my TV to make sure it's nice and clean. And then I will go in lightly with the dryer sheet and cover the entire TV. And that will help with any dust or dirt that wants to get back on my TV way too fast. For this next cleaning hack, I will be using my Swiffer. I will also be using my Steam Shark replacement pad and covering it onto my Swiffer. Then I will be able to dust and take off any cobwebs that have collected on my wall, especially in the high areas where it's normally really hard to reach. So for this cleaning hack, all you're going to need is some downy unstoppable beads or any one that you choose. Then you're just going to take about a handful and use your hose from your vacuum cleaner and vacuum it up. What that would do is refreshen up your vacuum cleaner so if it may have any type of odor or it's just a little stinky, it will refreshen it up and make it smell amazing. For this last cleaning hack, all you're going to need is some rubbing alcohol and also some Q-tips. I'm just going to dip the Q-tip into my rubbing alcohol and that will help me get into all the little small crevices that is on your laptop or computer keyboard that is usually hard to get and clean off. You'll be amazed with how much dirt and grime is actually built up on your keyboard and between those little crevices. <laughs> 